Earlier tonight at 11, a tense meeting between Idaho teachers and state lawmakers over climate change in the classroom. Good evening. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Nadine Woodward. In February, Idaho's legislature approved a new science standard, deleting five sections that specifically mention the human impact on climate change. KXY 4's Caroline Rourke working for you now. And Caroline, some unhappy teachers and students tonight. There were Nadine. Everybody made, you know, some good public comments, but there was definitely a lot of tension. And to be clear, representative of Idaho's Department of Education said tonight that this language wasn't cut to get rid of it. It was cut because that's part of the process to revise it. Whether or not that's the case, the idea the language on climate change needed revision was just as upsetting to the folks at this meeting tonight. Reaching an agreement on science standards is something the state of Idaho has been working on for several years now. According to the Idaho statesman, the last time the standard was amended was 2001. Until February of this year, when the Idaho legislature passed new standards that eliminated some language about climate change. Content standards represent the minimum threshold that students must meet, meaning climate change isn't barred from being taught in classrooms. But the educators, parents, and students at tonight's meeting take issue with the new standards, arguing the removal of climate change language delegitimizes what they teach. Among other things, the sections removed required teachers to address the causes of rising global temperatures, emphasizing human activity related to that. The meeting held at the Coeur Resort tonight is one of several the Department of Education and state legislators have held to seek public comment on the revision of the language. The answer they got from the crowd in Coeur d'Alene, put climate change back in and don't change the language. The majority of peer-reviewed studies, scientific groups, and scientists themselves point to warming global temperatures, largely a result of man-made activity. The teachers at the meeting tonight acknowledge that yes, there are many who deny climate change, but they argue that this information should be a requirement for students so they can make up their own minds. In other words, keep the politics out of the classroom. Now, the rules presented in February do have a one-year expiration date, meaning however they're changed or not changed, the legislature will have to vote on this, these standards again next year. Reporting in studio, Caroline Rourke, KXOI4 News. Thank you, Caroline.